January 13, the crunch heard around heaven. When the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree desirable to make one wise, she took off its fruit and ate. Genesis chapter 3, verse 6, New King James Version Remember the story about Eve taking the forbidden fruit in the Garden of Eden? In my mind's eye, I imagine the crafty serpent apparently relaxing along the leafy limb of a tree that God had instructed Adam and Eve not to touch Evan. Slyly, he plucks a piece of fruit from a nearby branch, examining it before taking a bite and smiling. He then looks down at the woman he knows is there. His smile broadens as he surprises her with a declaration. Mmm, this fruit is delicious. With amazement, the woman looks up into the tree at the talking serpent enjoying some forbidden fruit, apparently with no ill effects. Would you like a taste? Eve knows what God has instructed about this tree, but the serpent assures her no harm will befall her. He appeals to her pride and informs her that she will be like God if she eats of the fruit. So, because the serpent has so quickly and convincingly turned Eve's attention from God to herself, she looks at the exquisite fruit more closely. Then, she reaches up her hand and plucks a fruit for herself. In my mind, I watch in slow motion as the beautiful young woman next raises the fruit to her lips which she slowly parts, momentarily resting the fruit against her teeth. Crunch. The sound of this first scene might as well have been a round of thunder that echoed around the heaven like a cannon shot. In my mind's eye, I see all the angels, God and Jesus hang their heads, put their arms around one another, and weep. This scene also comes to mind whenever I do something that I know hurts God. Whether it's speaking harshly to my family, or venting my anger to a friend about someone else, or simply being dissatisfied with what God has asked me. My crunch is heard in heaven too. On the other hand, I know that my obedient choices even when they don't make sense to me, cause cheers of joy to ring through the archway of heaven. Oh, how I want to be the cause of those delighted shouts instead of my sin crunches bringing additional tears of sorrow. May our prayer be for God to give us the strength to obey Him. Even when the enemy tries to twist something apparently good into a temptation that could entice us to disobey, God desires us to love and trust Him and make choices that honor Him and His words. Cindy Woods <laughs>